If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, little on the road, subscribers and followers. Um, you know, I just did a top five uh, questions, most frequently answered questions, and uh, and I, I'll put the link right here for those who didn't get to see it. Uh, but I thought I would spend a little time discussing uh, some of those aspects in more detail. And, and one of the questions was, what are we going to do in the winter? Now, I mean, I, I've been asked questions like, how am I going to get the snow off the top of uh, my, my canopy? Or maybe the question was, how do, you, how do you get snow off top of your canopy? Or do you need to get snow off top of your canopy? I don't remember what the question was, but it was clear that they thought that we were going to be in a snow-covered area. I've been criticized pretty hard about even living in a pop-up camper because there is just no way we're going to heat it. Um, one person criticized me for not having a travel trailer because you're, I got to deal with, that's what he said, I got to deal with the winter problem. Well, first of all, we have did a little test run for about a week. Um, in the winter, it was February, of course there was no snow, and you know, you're know you looking at the footage here, you can see the foliage is all brown and dead. So, but th that first night that we were out there, it got down to 27 degrees. And uh, we turned on the uh, Mr. Heater Portable Buddy, and we hung a fan up from the roof, and it just kind of blew the air around, and man, we stayed nice and toasty. Now, of course, I double up, I have two blankets and I, I double them up. I, you know, I fold them in half so it gives me four layers of blankets and I'm quite warm in there. Uh, and, and that was without putting any type of insulation on the inside. Some people use Reflectix, which is, you can pick that up at a hardware store, Lowe's or something like that. And what it is, is uh, uh, duct work, you know, for your heating and cooling. Uh, you wrap that around and it insulates your, your ductwork. Um, and so, you know, at 27 degrees, we stayed warm without insulation. And that was just, you know, three or four, uh, four degrees below freezing. My goal is, though, is never have to deal with those kind of temperatures. That's my goal. You know, I understand that I may have to, and that's why we did the trial run. But our goal is to stay in Florida. Arizona and Texas. Um, I've been told that Louisiana and California will also help us with the, uh, you know, you can stay in those states. So I think we have some options when it comes to staying warm just by continuing our venture in different states. Now, people are going to say, well, why would you want to stay in Florida for two months? Because that's my plan is to be in Florida December and January and start heading back up north, uh, you know, in February and March. So I might be in northern Florida in, uh, in March and then head on up. Why would you want to stay in a state that long? Well, because that's part of our adventure. We, uh, we've been in Virginia now for six, eight weeks, and we love it, and we think... But we might try to stay in Virginia uh, another couple weeks. Well, I say Virginia. I, it, we're also just on the other side of Virginia's border on West Side, West Virginia side. But I mean, we're you know we do all our shopping in Virginia still. So in, in the, we just are sucking up all of every little aspect of this adventure. We've talked about that in in a video uh, called you're doing it wrong and I'll put that right up here that was a very popular video uh, but we love Virginia and we're, we're maximizing the amount of time we're staying in these campsites so we can enjoy every little aspect of what we get to see I say you know my, my feeling is we got the rest of our lives to do this so let's spend some time and smell the roses in every campsite and if we have to come back someday then we'll come back and do it again um, 
but the plan is is to go south in the winter. Uh, yes, I agree. It can get cold in the winter in Florida. Okay, so what is it going to get down to? 40 degrees? Okay. If it gets down to 40 degrees, well, we already know that we can handle that really well. Well, you're going to have to buy propane. Oh, no. Got to buy propane. Well, of course you got to buy propane. You buy, you pay for heat in your home. So that's my home. I'm going to pay for heat. I mean, I, I don't understand. Even if I did what everybody says I need to do, which is go into a travel trailer, I'm still going to have to buy propane. So I don't even understand that question. Uh, I, I think people really try to discourage the idea of living in a pop-up um, because winter's really going to get to you. And I just don't intend to deal with winter. So, and there are some folks that can. Like I said in one other video, there's a, a lady who said that she's going to live in her pop-up in Canada. Well, you know, I wouldn't do that. But if, you know, she's got the stamina to do it, then great. I'm more power to her. So anyway, that's my thoughts on winter. Um, you know, the season of winter may still be upon us, but I'm not going to endure the typical winter conditions. So anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video. And happy travels.